Nix became involved with the issue of sex trafficking through one of our clients, the Federation Sisters of St. Joe. They had asked us to find a property for their 2011 conference that um, had some activity or had signed the ECPAT Code of Conduct. So we um, went around and we were investigating and found the Millennium Hotel in St. Louis was willing to uh, review the ECPAT Code of Conduct and move forward with the signing of it. When the conference was over and the Millennium Hotel had signed it, we decided that there was more that could be done besides the Travel and Tourism Code of Conduct, that we could do something with meeting planners and a Code of Conduct to continue to bring awareness to this issue. We had been meeting with the Director of Sales for a hotel last week in Orlando and had approached them about the ECPAC Code of Conduct for the Travel and Tourism, and he had resistance. He wasn't very excited about the whole idea, but we gave, gave him the information. He went ahead and read it and noticed that the six points to sign the Code of Conduct were not that difficult. And in fact, they were already doing three of the six items on their own. And he came back to us very happy to report that they would be signing the Code of Conduct. And had he read the Code of Conduct before he pushed some of his resistance, he wouldn't have, um, he wouldn't have needed to worry. It wasn't that difficult or that hard to, to be a part of it. Our clients have brought it up as far as to their attendees during the pre-conference information that goes out. There's a little statement about their corporate social responsibility and the ECPAC Code of Conduct, and it then references the attendee to the ECPAC Code or the next conference meeting management website for conference planners, travel and tourism, or the individual traveler. We have uh, started a new organization called the Exchange Initiative from NICS Conference and Meeting Management. We found that over the last year and a half since we've been talking about the Code of Conduct, we get phone calls from um, police in San Diego. We've had a phone call from um, people, uh, attorney generals in different offices asking us for help in starting to pull this together in their own cities. We can't do that for the police or the attorney generals, but we send them to other people that we know have already put together the task force, have had some really good responses. So we felt like we were a resource center. So the exchange initiative is to formalize that resource center part of the um, sex trafficking and give people who are doing great things a platform to put it there and those that are looking to find and seek information to do work in their cities a place to go find it.